there's a whale, there is a way. In this case, a menacing whale, in fact, and his name is Bonstro the Whale. And he is the very same whale that swallowed Pinocchio. We're really going to be transporting him to a magical place called Storybook Land. So let us hear, what do all good stories start with? Well, they always begin with a once upon a time. Who lived a big bad wolf who lives in his cave, who always wanted to chase after those three little pigs. But don't worry folks, they live across the way and they live in three little houses. One made out of straw, one made out of sticks, and one made out of 100% guaranteed wolf-proof bricks. Now our journey is going to take a strange turn for just around the riverbed. Coming up to the left-hand side lies the quaint English village home to Alice. For one long afternoon, Alice fell the white rabbit down the rabbit hole. She fell down, down, down into Wonderland, where things already came, curiouser and curiouser, from there. In fact, so your plan is filled with such fantastic places, like Wonder Park, which is off to our right, and this is where Peter Pan, Michael, Libby, and John Darling first flew to Neverland. With the help of Tinkerbell's pixie dust, where they would never, ever have to grow up. Then we have places like Agrabah, City of Mystery and Enchantment, where Street Bad named Aladdin first bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. And though the two were from two different worlds by the power of love and the help of a genie, they were happily married inside the Sultan's Palace. These magical places is where love blooms forever, just like the rose-covered archways just above us. Now these are the very same archways that Aladdin and Jasmine first took on their magic carpet ride as they flew over, sideways, and even under to a whole new world. And while all good stories are filled with love and light, they also have their dark places as well. Places like the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Its treasure bears a curse that can only be lifted by the power of the genie of the lamb. Legend has it that it will present the genie tree when he grant his three wishes. Now let's all make a wish and see if it comes true. Snow White wished for a safe place and she fled for that evil queen in some of the and it goes before his cottage, which is home to the seven doors on the right. He offered her shelter and thanks of her guidance. You can even hear them whistle while they work inside their jewel mine. And then we have Cinderella that wished to go to the ball, but her wicked stepmother for painted. Her fairy godmother planned that wish, but when Cinderella did leave by the stroke of midnight, her goat turned back into a pumpkin, which you can still see right up there, on that little miniature bridge, right up against the hillside. No magic has it, but it's the green bug does not. Miss Cinderella that is happy with her friends inside that castle on top of that hill. Dreams really do come true like wishes they inspire our stories here. But the dreaming of living happily ever after, or dreaming of drifting off the slate on hills of quilted flower. At the ones on the left hand side, which was inspired by the 1933 silly symphony cartoon Mumba by Land. There's magic everywhere here in Storybook Land, even in the miniature plants that will never, ever grow up in a sleep to make a fever bell. This is what makes the place of fever and master storyteller Rob Disney, who continues to inspire new stories to this very day. And then we have stories like the wind in the willows, where Bull Rat and Mr. Toad live in their stately manor just ahead. But unfortunately, folks, looks like Mr. Toad is not home right now, as he's off on his first car on a wild ride to Bueller in particular. Beyond that is the King of Bavaria, a castle on the bay and Queen Mosh's castle, right in the bar of the snow in the bow. His sister's off to the side of the French playhouse, Stanley Christoph, and also the more powerful than his magic, the power of true sisterly love. Wally off my village of the Carver, the Geppetto wished to have a star. Let his puppet will become a real live boy. I'm the old singer from the belly of Mike's for the world. The little fairy very much indeed granted him that wish. Geppetto's wish is like this child in so many classic fairy tale stories, like the one of little mermaid named Ariel, who dreamed of all returning to his castle. She had to give up her life out of the sea, take her very first steps and unstained legs, and eventually became a part of our world. 
first is the story that begins in the shadow of his father, King Triumph, who lives in the Anwar city of the North Star. He's still not able to see it. He's in the middle of the world, and he's not going to be able to see it. As we close the final page to our storybook, I would like to ask everyone to please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat until the boat has come to a full and complete stop of the dock. We hope that you continue to enjoy the rest of your visit with us here at Disneyland. The end.